Okay, I'm here at, at one of my club's events. It's called Corvettes and Cones. It's in Denville, which is where the club started. And this is a 69 Le Mans Blue. And this is quite amazing. Tastefully modified. And boy, is it clean. But what I found very unique with this convertible, and you didn't see many with this option, I'll show you. It's got a rear vent defroster. Okay. And they snap, and when he snap, he might as well go like this. You can see that. I had my 66. Now was the second owner on the damn thing. And that broke it. This is very nice. And you can see all the cars around. But at the time, and mine is well. Yeah, that's the next to last plus. there. First competition First. plus. That's all you use, man. None I'll of make the rounds. Well, years ago, it was $125 for the shifter really? and the Lincoln. Now the shifter is $475 and the Lincoln is $400. <laughs> Yeah, once you got a convertible, it doesn't matter the temperature, unless it's snowing, these people put them down. It's nice to see. And it looks like we've got a C5. Very nice. Hey, coupon lady! Yeah. Let me pour it. All right, I'm going to... Pick up where I left off. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. There are a lot of C8s here tonight. <laughs> Look at that vanity plate. Finally, that says it all. Wow. What color, Matt? What's that? What color? Amplify orange. Amplify, yes. I have trouble remembering. And it's the natural interior. Yeah. Yeah, I like those. <coughs> Same thing when you get out. Don't step on that bottle. Oh, this, this is lovely. I don't even know most of the uh, club members anymore. I don't get out much. And uh, automatic or manual, you gotta love the Z06s. This is one of my favorite colors. It's right up there with my crystal red metallic. Another great C5, the 50th anniversary model, which is great. Now I know the owner of this, it's Denise. And she and uh, Cindy Lou, another member of our club, they're the ones who set up the tents in Carlisle. And for the second time now, Natural Glass Corvette Association got the coolest club banner from, uh, I guess, Lance Miller. Oh, another C8 tucked away back here.
I wish I had my friend from Texas, Mike Brink, out here. He knows every color and every option. But this is really nice. I like this color. Oh, it must be a convertible. And not all the club members have Corvettes. Husband and wife team showed up tonight. The husband showed up in a fantastic GTO, which is a manual. And his wife showed up in the automatic. And she's parked in good company next to me. Oh, like a 52 MGTD. I love those. I'm probably not spot on, but I'm close enough. And I think I'm going to pop my hood too. Why not? Because I'm very proud of it. Bear with me. I don't know if I can reach in. Yeah, I got it. Hi. Hello. How are you? You know what all these cars are? Did, did your dad tell you, or do you know, and you had to tell him? You want different models of their? Yes, sir. Different models, okay. Yeah, they go by generations. Okay. You're going to get your 15 minutes of fame here. Okay. Um, yeah, they started in 1953. Okay. 53 through 62, Gen 1. Gen 2 is from 63 to 67. Okay. And it keeps leapfrogging. Uh, currently, I'll skip the third generation and the fourth. This and the well okay. and the okay. fifth. This is the sixth generation. Sixth generation. Yeah. Now that is a C7, the yellow one. Okay. But all the now new supercars. Do you see the gray one over there? Yes. This? Yes. And there's a lot of other ones. GM hit the ball out of the park with those because those are mid engines. They're up there with Ferrari, Lamborghini, and they're faster. Yeah, <laughs> they're real fast. Those ones? Yes, all that body style. There's one, two, let me see. The blue one, three, and on the end is four. Okay. And uh, they're very expensive. Yeah? Yeah. What's the price of these latest ones? Um, depending on the options, let's say they would start at roughly 80000 but you can max it out to like 105. Oh wow! But now <coughs> they they have different models. There's the Stingray, which is a base model, mm -hmm. and they go up to a Z06. Now they are coming out in 2025 with a ZR1, which was always known as the king of the hill. Okay. In my generation, it had 638 horsepower. Wow. With the new one. 1,064 oh horsepower. If that's, that doesn't blow the lint out wow. of your navel, I don't know wow. what does. That's amazing. Oh yeah. So it's uh, and. So they're the same engines like Ferrari has, or Lambos has, right? Uh, no, the no, they're different. No, it's like in terms of horsepower. Ah, uh, yeah. Horsepower? Well, some of the uh, Lambos and Ferraris have similar horsepower, but they don't hook up. They can't beat the vet. Mm -hmm. And. Um, the new C8 has um, an all-wheel drive, okay. which is it's called the E-Ray, and the horsepower, mm, 650, which is by today's yeah. standards. Eh. Yeah. But that thing will outdrive any vehicle. Matter of fact, originally 
when it came on the scene, some of the uh, racetracks banned it because Ferrari and Lamborghini, bye bye, and it really ticked them off. So it's interesting. But uh, so between the generations, yes. Other than the look and feel of it, what is the major difference? Is it uh, the horsepower or that is a very good question. Uh, well, you're looking around and you're looking at the interiors. I didn't touch upon the C3. Let's go over to this blue one. I would say the interiors are probably... Oh, let me just get my stick. Do you live in Denver? Mountain Lakes. Oh, Mountain Lakes. Yes. Okay, I grew up in Denver. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I live up in Sussex County now. Okay. But what we're going to look at here is a C3. Okay. Uh, that generation, that yes, okay. started in 1968. And uh, <coughs> that continued until 1982. So you can go around and look at, or come with me and look at the interior. You'll see how simple it is. Yeah. And these were an option, side pipes. But see how simple it is? Wow, yes, yeah. Very simple design, yeah. And then the, uh, the convertible top is not a lift off. This rear deck pops up. Okay. And then it falls down and disappears out of sight. All right, listen. And these... 650 horsepower, these are? No, no, these were only... Uh, mine was... A 330 horsepower 330, okay. and there was a sport model so to speak it's called an LT1 okay. that had 370 which back in the day was a lot of horsepower yeah, yeah. and positive traction rear you know Corvette was one of the first to start that where both wheels spin simultaneously you know in the regular cars like in the snow you'd be spinning one tire and the other one wouldn't move you know? yeah <laughs> and so what is the event like today? Is the collections? So what uh, what is the event about today? I'm sorry. What, what is the event today? Oh, my club, which uh -huh. I started before you were born. Okay. Uh, uh, it's Natural Glass Corvette Association, and it, we started it here in Denver. Oh, yeah, I and a K through 12 friend of mine uh, hooked up after college, and. Uh, it's quite a nice story, but I ran into him by accident. Brand new 71 Corvette. Before your time, he bought it from Gearhart Chevrolet, which I think now is Schumacher up here. And uh, he was a cop. So I wouldn't even go, go by my house all the time. And I'm thinking, who the heck? Oh, so thank you. <laughs> what did you get? What did I get? What is it? What's in there? Can you open? This is like what it is. Come here. Yeah. So, see what you got. This way. <laughs> uh oh, you're getting close. Let's see a surprise. Oh. What is that? Oh. Let me see. Hold it up, Evans. Hold it. Let me see. Wow. Corvettes at Carlisle. Every year there's an event. Corvettes at Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. And it's the largest car event in the United States, oh, wow. if not the world. Yeah, I'll let you. No, that's fine. Evan, would you like to sit in a Corvette? You want to sit in a Corvette? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> You can, as long as it's all right with your dad. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, yes. follow me. For you? Yes. <laughs> go with Uncle. Go with Uncle. <laughs> Come on. Go. Okay, keep. See the one with the hood open? That's the one you're going to sit in. I'll. Oh, you know how to open it, but I'll get it. <laughs> You're smart. Next year for your... Oh! You easy, easy. 
You don't want to hit the other car here. Okay. That a boy. <laughs> what do you think? Can't reach the pedals yet. When, when you can reach the pedals, you come back here and I'll I'll let you go for a ride. Okay? I can reach the pedals now. Oh, you're cheating. Good. A pillow and you're all set. To, so you got something to lean back on? You like that? Okay, Evan, can you see, lean back a little bit, this is a stick shift knob, because you have to shift it yourself. Why don't you pull up that little sock from the back? Go ahead, put it up. A little more. No, no, don't squeeze it. Grab his teeth and pull it up a little bit. Two fingers. There you go. Now just pull it up easy. No, no, not from the bottom. Put it up, up. You want to cover that stick yes. knob. You'll like it. Like you push it forward here? What? You push it forward? No. Not yet. All right, I'll tell you what. If you get out, I'll show you what that is. Mm -hmm. And you tell me what it is, okay? Come. Here you go. Will you hold my stick? Watch the cars. Now this is really cool, Evan, because the Corvette back in the day was called a shark because of its design. Okay, yeah. Now, any metal that is highly polished or chrome gets hot, super hot. And in the winter, it gets cold. So, I have a little hoodie for him. Ah, okay. Oh, yes. Can you see him? See the shot? See? It's coming this gear. Oh. Jaws! <laughs> His name is Finn. 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 So you own this car? Yes, I do. Yes. Yep, it's That's how you like it, 2010. 2010? Yeah. Wow, way, way And when were nice you favorite. born? When were you born? December 5th. And? 2000? 2000. 17. 2017. 2017. <laughs> wow. You have any brothers or sisters? You have any brothers and sisters? You no. Know? No, right. Okay. No? <laughs> Maybe someday, huh? Yeah. He has a doggy. Oh, I have doggies too. What do you have? I have one dog. And, and what, what is he? What breed is he? Labradoodle? A Labradoodle. I had Labradors growing up, but now I have German Shepherds. Five. 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 Wow. Yeah. You're a dog lover too. Here, I'll take that from you. Thank you. Okay, now say thank you to Uncle. Say thank, thank you. you for spending yeah, time. Yeah, you can call me Uncle Peter. You got a new Peter. relative. Yes. It was a real <laughs> pleasure to meet you and your dad. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate uh, it. Yes, sir. Very nice. Thank you. I'm so glad. I appreciate it. Yeah, you made my evening. Yes, thank you. And thank you for the wonderful gift. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, I think the crowd is probably going to get something to eat. And I might do the same thing. Well, the evening's going well so far. The sun's going down. It's starting to get cold. These are all club members. And everyone's having a good time. But the hoodies are... Smile! Yep. All right. Your fries are garbage. Yep. Thank you. Okay. I got to head west, young man. All right, old man. Okay. Yep. How you feeling? Gentlemen. This. I'll lose two days to recoup now. Really? Yeah. I'll be okay. Right. So I just. I didn't want to be here this late, but no, I know where I I'm going. I Get home safe, Rich. Yeah. So, some goes down earlier these days. Yeah. I gotta go, guys. Yeah. Nice yeah. seeing you, Peter. Nice no, seeing you. Take care.
Yeah, there he goes. Can, yeah, I hear you. Bye bye. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. One of these days. I'm going to drive that friggin' GTO. And now the cars are all starting to get together and leave. Nice day. Well, closing up the house here. Gonna head west. <laughs> Get out my winter clothing. Yeah, he all thought I was fooling. Suede, chair, I'm all set. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>